I get rid of all the smoke like OZM. Shawty got that real jelly up petroleum. Niggas acting like my kids and they be older than him. Can't believe that kill skinny, I really grow up with him. I'ma leave a lot of niggas covered in roses for him. Spray the witness, I ain't even no Jehovah for them. Won a Grammy and I couldn't even show it to him. Put my face inside the lineup, niggas know that I'm him. Anybody speaking on my brothers got step done. Pull up from the three like Stefan. And the coupe ball headed like the other Stefan. Put my kids in private school so they can get their prep on. Think my heart made out of Teflon. What? What? Think my heart bulletproof. You ain't got a mask, I can show you what a hoodie do. Put a screen tight to your eyelids, cover two. I think they on the left. Roll the window, hit the lights, boom. Everybody wish they switch sides when we coming through. Everybody wish they was inside when we coming through I pray that you ain't on the other side when we coming through PTSD and I mean it Nigga Johnny got killed and I seen it I can't fight with these demons Top shot a nigga, I got gunfire for these demons Hope you know you gotta stand on all that shit you been tweeting To some real niggas from me, I could kill the whole world and I still won't be either I be thinking about my brothers while I'm shopping in Nemes Real gangster when I'm gone, carve my name in the semen Watch these hoes when you rich, they play games with the semen Tries and tribulations, I face them Prosecutors probably wanna case him See my ass, I jump out and chase them I ain't trust them white, nigga, I never mace them Love for all my artists, nigga, I never mace them Shit, that's probably why they hate him Trying to get my brother out of jail, I'm like, hey, Kim Cut from a different cloth, he never let it break him Look at my advance, it made me wonder what I make them But I own my master, so I can't do shit but thank them Video visits, he be smiling on FaceTime Passionate, I'm talking with my hands, these ain't gang signs You don't know Larry Tate, man, or CJ, you ain't one of mine Braids on my neck, nigga, I ain't got no hang time what is up rap babes it's your girl amira ali and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome to the rap babes don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh my god y'all i actually forgot to put on i didn't put on any of my serums this morning but i definitely forgot to put on a little moisturizer slash sunscreen so brb sorry i had to make sure i at least put on my little neutrogena hydro boost like my moisturizer because it has hyaluronic acid and sunscreen in it normally when i'm not putting on my niacinamide my uh so let's like acid, I'll just put that on because last time I went outside, by like just washing my face and not putting nothing on, my skin was so dry. And I'm a very oily girl and my skin was just like dry, like around my mouth area felt tight. Like I just don't like that feeling. So I gotta make sure that I'm moisturized. Anyway, y'all, morning routine. It started off a little late. I'm not gonna lie. I was in bed for a little bit. I just finished my three in a row yesterday. Um, but Nevertheless, I'm up. I got myself together. I got my green juice because y'all know one green juice a day keeps the gut away. And honey, I stepped on the scale while I was at work and I am liking what I am seeing, okay? And I just want to keep this up. By my birthday, I just really want to be in the best shape I've ever been in. You know, like I'm not going back for that high school body. I'm not going back for like how I used to look. I'm not going into all of that. I just want to be my most, my most healthiest version of me while also just looking good and feeling so confident you know and i have trips coming up y'all for the summer me and my girls been planning and i'm not going on no trip with no big back i'm sorry i'm just not like we gotta unbig this back it's i don't honestly like when i was going on vacation before y'all i was always so self-conscious and coming from like having a body like growing up that like it was just 
naturally given to you by God, of course. And it's hard when you grow up and you hit that grown woman type of vibe or that happy weight start kicking in and baby, the weight starts to stick. Because when I was younger, y'all, let me not like lie, I used to eat horrible. I worked at McDonald's for so many years. I worked in the mall. I was always eating junk food. It was very rare to see me eating healthy, very. Like I always was a pizza, Chinese food. I always ate out, plus I'm Haitian. We are heavy on the carbs and none of the weight was sticking. I don't know if it's because I was walking a lot because when I was younger, I used to walk so much because I didn't have a car. Um, but honestly, now that I think about it, once I got that car, baby, the weight started sticking because I, I got so lazy. But when you're younger, I do feel like it's easier for you to lose weight. Once you start to hit 23, 24, 25 and up, baby, the weight starts to stick. Okay, it gets a little harder out here. You know what I'm saying? Remember in 2020, I was what, 21? Yeah, I was 21 and I had lost like 30 or 50 pounds in like three, 30 to 50 pounds in three months. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if I'm gonna do that quick again, but I'm gonna do everything that I can, okay? Especially with PCOS on my back, on my, on my back. With me having PCOS, it is a little harder, but it's not impossible, and I am determined to be the best version of myself because like I said, going on trips and not feeling like your best self is not fun. Being self-conscious, having to wear certain things, it, it's just not fun, you know? And I just don't wanna feel like that no more, so for the trips that I got coming up, baby, I need to be snatch even if i'm not exactly where i want to be i want to be at least 70 to 80 percent there you know what i mean anyway so i got my green juice yum i'm about to take my master tonic and y'all we have a lot to do today i am going to well I, i'm lying we really don't got a lot to do today but packing is probably the most heavy thing it's the heaviest thing on my schedule however i just gotta go pick up the keys to my new place Yay. yeah yeah we are relocated rat babes and then what else do I need to do? I need to do that. Pick up the keys and I need to go to my P.O. box. And I really want to go to my P.O. box if I could like switch the address over maybe to somewhere else because I'm not going to be coming all the way over here no more. When I come back later, I'm going to take my vitamins. Y'all, another thing. I'm sorry. Like I always got to talk to y'all a lot in the intro because I feel like this is a whole kind of catch up type of thing. Like I'm catching up with y'all. Y'all know I've been very heavy on vitamins. You know, when you get older, baby. You just need all the vitamins you could get. So in the morning, what I started doing was taking my woman's multivitamin from Ali, and then I also take their probiotic just for gut health. And then at night when I come home, I will take my vitamin D3, and I would also take my magnesium. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this magnesium gives me the best sleep of my life. Y'all know I tried to do the whole sleepy girl cocktail. And shout out to my brat babe that commented and let me know that I was doing it wrong and what I need to do. We are going to attempt that in another vlog, maybe at another time. I don't know, maybe in this vlog, who knows, but we're gonna reattempt that later. But I've been taking my tablets at night, and when I tell you, I would come home from work, I would take a shower. Now, I would come home from work, do whatever I gotta do, take my vitamins, take a shower. By the time I put my head on that pillow, when I tell you, I'm knocked. I remember, um, just like yesterday, today's goal, Wizard Kelly was like, You didn't hear that car alarm all night? I was like, No. <laughs> Baby, I'd be knocked out. One thing about this magnesium, you don't need no Benadryl, you don't need no, you don't need none of that to go to sleep. Get you some magnesium, okay? I got a new bible so honestly y'all this is probably gonna be the last bible that i buy because i do have versions on both of my phones my ipad um and then i also have the king james version um i have a kids version which is the first bible y'all saw me use it was like very colorful however that bible is not in order at all like it's just all over the place and i figured that while i was reading it so um, i have the king james version i have this NLT devotional Bible for a woman. Y'all, I'm gonna have this linked in my Amazon storefront below. Y'all are going to love this. The reason why I love this Bible so much is because, so Genesis is the first book in the Bible, right? When you open it up to Genesis, what I love about this Bible is that in the top, it'll tell you exactly what Genesis is. Okay, Genesis depicts God's power and majesty, blah, 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 it tells you everything. And after each chapter, it will tell you like something to, it'll say, It'll have a love letter from God. It'll have a reflection and the treasure of truth. And in the reflection, it'll basically talk about what that chapter was about. And the treasure of truth is maybe something like a gem from this 
actual chapter alone y'all when i tell y'all it is so good it's so 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 good so i love it i'm gonna have a link below for you guys and of course it's pink duh so what else my magnesium and the supplements all of those that i take will be linked down below as well so it'll be very easy for you to navigate what else do i want to tell y'all another thing i also wanted to apologize so much to you guys because i don't want y'all to ever feel like i am neglecting y'all i love you guys so much and making content for y'all means everything to me you know what i'm saying and with this new chapter of my life well with this last few months with it being super crazy i feel like after vlogmas life started getting really crazy as far as like work balancing everything it just started to get like a lot plus i'm moving you guys this month so it's a lot <laughs> it's really a lot on me and i have to also remember i am just one person and i'm also working full time on top of everything else that i do so i try to give myself a lot of grace but in that comes a lot of guilt and i never want you guys to feel like i am neglecting you guys like i'm not posting consistently and you know like i never want you to feel like that i'm always going to try to give you at least one video a week until we could get moved in and settled and we could get out two days a week and our posting schedule going i am going to try to give y'all one video a week and although it may be on different days and it may not be on the specific days that you guys may want it i am trying and i want you to know that i'm really sorry if you guys feel like who is this interrupting my speech <laughs> yeah i never want you guys to feel like i am neglecting her or anything like that because as a creator i also I am also a consumer and I also do watch content so I know what it's like when you watch somebody you look forward to their content and they're not posting and you're like girl where you at and I never want you to feel like I'm going missing at all you know like just give me some time give me some grace I am really 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 trying I love y'all I am not one of them creators who's just gonna neglect y'all I never want to be that ever um I want there to be a lot of transparency between us you know and I just love you guys so you guys are like you know get my internet besties like we sisters we we we, we all that you know what I mean and I never want y'all to feel any type of way so just know I am trying I'm working once I am settled like I keep saying I promise we will get a schedule like two days a week whether it's a, that's a Sunday and a Wednesday Sunday for vlogs Wednesday for like a content whatever we'll do that you get what I'm saying so just give me some time give me some grace um also I went to Sephora <laughs> and I got some new things that I want to show y'all well I didn't go to Sephora I ordered from Sephora I believe all of this was like three almost four hundred dollars so I got topicals lip gloss the topicals lip gloss i would say like a lot of people don't like it me personally i do like it i haven't no this is my dior lip oil on right now but i use this lip gloss as like my everyday lip gloss like i wear it to work um, i wear it when i'm running errands all of that my summer fridays is a little bit too expensive i take that with me when i'm going out let's say i do my little lip combo i'm going out with my girls i'll probably keep a little summer friday or the dior lip oil but honestly y'all it, it really just depends on what i'm doing because i need multiple lip glosses like in my bag right now I have my topicals lip gloss i have my fenty lip oil and i have like an old summer fridays that's almost done like i always keep multiple lip glosses in my bag because i don't have time to be looking in, in my bag all frantic when i'm looking for a lip gloss like let me just pull out what i can find these are really good they're 16 dollars and i just like to keep multiple at one time i also got the anastasia beverly hill this is their bra, bra clear brow gel when we were in dallas melody actually put this on my brows when i finished my makeup and i feel like it just gave my brows such a good like gloss like a really really good finish and i really liked how it looked so i had to get that i know i am obsessed with the hourglass concealer 10 times better than born this way the consistency and all and this is their cons oh <laughs> i forgot i got a new camera baby <laughs> this focus is tea are you crazy but um yeah this is the concealer brush it's such a good consistency it's so firm like love it so i'm really excited to try that um i am gonna try to commit to at least doing one girls night out at least a month um and not be you know so much a homebody also because it just helps the vlogs and make the vlogs a little bit more interesting i am and also i wanted to stop here and say thank you guys so much for the overwhelming support and love on my last vlog while i was on live a lot of y'all kept saying how much y'all loved it and i just really appreciate that because it was almost two hours and i'm like damn i don't think nobody is gonna watch this but y'all showed out as y'all I always do so i love you guys so much another thing y'all before we continue i hit like i'm talking so much i'm sorry y'all i hit 300k on tiktok 
TikTok. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. 300,000 people follow me. That is crazy. It's crazy. Like the support is there. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Once we hit 20K on here and 100K on Instagram, we'll be doing giveaways across all platforms. It's gonna be three major gifts. One for YouTube, one for Instagram, one for TikTok, just to, you know, do it all at one time. And I, I'm just like, I can never express how much I love y'all and how much I really appreciate y'all support in me. It's just, so I have so much things coming up. A lot of things I've been working on behind the scenes to also give back to y'all. Like I am, I just can't wait. Um, but back to this. So I've got the Huda Beauty. This is their face sculpt and shade, a dual sided brush. So this, I actually bought this for contour. So this side is gonna be for my nose. This side is gonna be for like my forehead and my cheek area. Um, so also the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, I believe it's about to be discontinued, y'all, because it was $30, then $20, then I believe it was $15, now it's $10. So I believe that they're really trying to just get it wiped out and get it off the shelves. So you know I bought three. <laughs> and I may not use it as much, but I do really like this powder. Um, I like to put this on after I set my face. I have it in the color Ebony. So after I wipe away my setting powder, I like to just go in with this. I just feel like it makes my under eye so smooth. And yeah, I really feel like it like keeps it intact and it doesn't crease as much. People say that they don't like when their concealer creases. Me personally, I know that when I'm putting my concealer on, it's going on skin. Skin is natural for it to crease. I just don't like too much creasing. And I feel like the hourglass concealer with the one size setting powder and this, baby, what is a crease? Also got a cream bronzer from Fenty. So all this time that I've been bronzing my face, y'all, I've just been using straight powder. I haven't really been doing my due diligence with the cream. I do like the powder look, don't get me wrong, but I feel like the powder would be more so to keep the cream in place. Um, so I got a cream one. And for my favorite purchase thus far, y'all, I got the new Flower Bomb Nectar Victor and Wolf fragrance. I don't know if you can see it. The middle part is a little light because it's reflecting on the light. But anyway, this, y'all, so I heard a lot of things about this fragrance. I heard a lot of things about this fragrance. And I said, okay, baby, let me try. So when I put it on yesterday, I was like, eh, I don't really know if I like it. It really gave me Chanel Mademoiselle. If you ever smelt it, then that's what it smells like. And I was like, hmm, this is probably like an 8 out of 10. Because everybody was like, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. To me, it was like an 8. But y'all, I literally went to sleep. I woke up and it was still on my wrist. Like, I tried it on. I was like, hmm, okay. It actually, it's still there right now. Even after a shower, even after putting on my lotion, putting on my, I have on a Jimmy Choo perfume right now, and I still smell this one. Like, this longevity, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10, and I'm probably going to put a little spray or two on right now. But it does smell very clean. I can't lie. I do like this fragrance. I do. I would definitely increase it to a 9.5 um, out of 10. Me and my Valentino, we 10 out of 10, baby. So it says, the keynote is Osmanthus. Orange Blossom Gunpowder Accord. It's like a warm floral scent. Um, in this fragrance, black in this fragrance, black currant and bergamot blend with jasmine and orange flower before meeting the warm scent of patchouli. Definitely love it. And it also sent me some samples of this, the Victor and Wolf. Yeah, they sent me like a mini one. I guess this one would be like what I just used before I go to bed if I want to. And or like let's say I'm having a girls now wear my pajamas, I could put that on. This is a body cream body lotion and another hack to make your perfume last y'all i put on my body oil as soon as i get out the shower immediately as soon as i get out the shower body oil is on i put on a little body cream to my perfume it'll last all night I'm about to head out it is currently two o'clock so yeah we really do gotta go so i'm gonna check in with you guys later i love you guys so much three hours later hey y'all so it's a little while later and i had to just stop at the bank to get a check and then I just went to my P.O. box really quickly to close it off only because like I didn't want to pay for another three months uh, of my P.O. box when I know I'm going to be transitioning into my move. But I came, I got my keys as y'all can hear and I'm actually in the apartment. It's really empty. Um, I just did like a little final walkthrough just to look at everything. I was on the phone with Janae, like just showing her what I'm about to do is just take some pictures of the place. I think that anytime you're moving, it's so important to take pictures of the condition of the apartment when you move in because you you just you, listen you just don't know but i'm just so excited y'all i feel so grateful like i just feel so good but 
um i'm officially trying to be officially moved in here but in the next like few weeks another thing i don't want to move in without cameras so i gotta make sure today i buy my cameras and at least buy like my bed frame etc etc um and then i'm gonna download task rabbit because janae told me about task rabbit and um what you would call it it's really good because you know i'm personally i'm just a girl y'all i'm not putting things together if it's not nothing minor i'm not putting nothing together like i'm just not so yeah i'm here i can't wait to like make my content in here i can't wait to like show you guys how i put everything together i will not be doing a tour i definitely will not but what i will be doing is a um i'll do like a decoration tour like as i'm decorating each room i'll show you guys what i'm buying because all of my stuff is coming from amazon y'all like i'm i'm not one of those people who need to spend thousands of dollars on furniture like maybe if it was a condo or like a house yes i'm gonna invest into furniture but it's an apartment like i'm going to just be buying quick cheap affordable but still nice furniture so yeah i'm about to actually uh head to target i want to pick up these protein drinks i don't know if i told you about them but they're so good so i want to go pick up a few maybe get some groceries to cook tonight so that i can literally start packing and make dinner so i'm gonna catch up with y'all later love you Hey y'all, so, oh my gosh, let me tell you what happened to me today. My mind has been literally all over the place. I thought today was March 2nd. <laughs> oh, today is March 1st. Today is my actual move-in day, you guys, but unfortunately, I have nothing packed. So, thank God, like, our lease overlaps. So, our lease in this apartment is up at the end of the month. Um, I think it's, yeah, March 31st it ends. Obviously, we're not waiting until March 31st to move, but I liked it that way. Honestly, a little better. That way, we're not, like, rushing, you know? And we're not, like, rushing to spend money to get everything out of here. Like, everything can literally be nice and slow at a nice and good pace and just slowly pack slowly get things going slowly throw things out because it's not like i'm taking time off of work and taking time off of content taking time off of all these things to do this move um it's literally everything happening at once so actually i have one over there thinking that today was march 2nd because um i'm supposed to get my my internet and wi-fi put in y'all today's march 1st and i know i said i'm keeping a lot of stuff with my relationship with god really sacred and private however when i do have something on my heart that i want to show y'all tell y'all about i will definitely do that so one thing that i do want to um tell you guys is i found a really really good podcast i saw a lot of clips on it about the podcast on tiktok which prompted me to go to youtube and watch it and i'm actually still watching it it's a podcast with tiffany montgomery i'll probably have it on the screen somewhere or link down below for y'all but y'all it's really good like really good i'm about to watch that while i at least go through the shelves under my bathroom and kind of like pack stuff up um so yeah that's what i'm about to do i ain't really doing too much y'all i ain't really doing too much now i'm gonna probably just pack that up if anything i'll probably pack up my desk as well something quick because i still want to shower install my wig i want to do my bible study i want to go live like still got work to do with my graphic designer it's just so much going on y'all so 
yeah i am going to catch up with you guys later um but yeah let's start packing and all the things Hey y'all, I just take a little break, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, packing can be definitely overwhelming. Um, I'm actually really shocked at how fast I did it though. Like I packed up all my bathroom stuff pretty quickly. I packed up all my room stuff pretty quickly. Well, it wasn't everything from the room. I still have yet to go through like my makeup vanity and my hair business kind of my bin. But those I'll probably do tomorrow. Like I'm really in no rush. Tomorrow I'm going to go over there and do a really, 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 really good deep clean. I'm going to thoroughly clean the place, sweep, mop the floors, do the whole shebang. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm doing everything very slowly, y'all. Like I said, I'm taking my time. I'm really not in no rush for a um well i am in a rush but not a crazy rush but honestly y'all me moving has just showed me how much of a hoarder i am like i literally had have so much stuff that i don't use like i just have things piled up and i really think i don't know if it's just me but like growing up caribbean my grandmother and my great grandmother growing up with them they would not throw stuff out <laughs> like i don't know if it's a caribbean thing or what but like caribbean people have a really hard time throwing things out my my grandmother and my great-grandmother would not throw stuff out. They would have mail from 50 years ago. My great-grandmother, you will go in the kitchen, you'll see cans of food that has been expired and she still would not throw it out. So it has, in some way, shape, or form, poured out to me. And don't get me wrong, hoarding, certain things have saved my life sometimes because there'll be things I'd be like, thank God I didn't throw that receipt out. Thank God I didn't throw this out because you end up needing it. So that'd be my mindset where everything, I'd be like, nah, I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna need this. But now that I'm moving and I'm like, I'm not taking no garbage with me, y'all. It's so much easier for me to pack because I'm not like half of this stuff is just it's just useless honestly and I'm I was actually gonna hire movers and I'm so happy that I didn't because I would have been taking all of this garbage with me like only I know what I need and what I don't need they would have just been packing stuff up I would have went to the new place with a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need you know so that's why I'm just glad I get to do it by myself because I get to go through things and decide what I want that way at the end we can just throw out everything and none of this stuff is following me to the new place but anyway I'm gonna go take a shower because it's almost what the time 
I don't know why the time on the microwave wasn't working, but yeah, it's like almost 5.30. And um, I'm just going to drink my little protein shake. I'm going to go take a shower. While I do my little Bible study, I'm going to eat my Chipotle, chill. Then I'll probably go start installing my wig maybe. And like I want to make some content for, for, for TikTok. So yeah, y'all, it's a lot. I really wanted to film a what's in my bag and have that ready for y'all. But I doubt that's going to happen with the condition of this place. Like I'm just not comfortable making content with certain things. I know y'all love relatability, but for me... Relatability doesn't always have to be like chaos. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying, but me, I want my content to always reflect my creativity and the type of creator that I am. And I just feel like the environment that you're making content in matters. The lighting matters, the environment, the background, all of those things matter, you know? So vlogging in it is one thing because you get to see the behind the scenes, but making content in it, no, sorry. Let me show you guys the recipe to my protein coffee after i squeeze the living life out of this summer friday it's almost done i just can't wait to set up my new vanity oh my gosh like my new place is about to be tea are you kidding my furniture is gonna be white well beige white cream you know like just to get more light into the place because i feel like we had like i really love black so everything when we moved in here was like gray black dark and i just feel like it makes the place look so much darker you know oh it could just be a mental thing, but I do think it makes a big difference when your furniture is light. I don't know. Anyway, y'all. So first thing first, I take some caramel drizzle. Not a lot. But you just take a, enough and you want to line the cup. And I know this may not seem the healthiest. It's probably not. But honestly, you don't taste it. This is just to give it a caramel flavor. You really do not taste this a lot. And I'm also probably going to make a video of making this tomorrow so that TikTok can see. Cause this is actually a very healthy coffee. It's 42 grams of protein. So this is a coffee that I got from Target. It's the Cal Califia Farms Cold Brew Black Coffee. Honestly, I really don't care for the brand. As long as it's a medium roast and it's a black iced coffee, baby, I don't care. I'ma just buy it. So I don't really know, but the brand, this has been working for me. I just literally put a little bit, okay? I said the brand don't matter. I always like a medium roast though. Even when I used to work at Starbucks, I always used to drink like a medium roast. Not like dark or, nah, just give me medium. Then here's the protein drink. It's the core protein, 42 grams of protein. Y'all, when I tell y'all it's so good, it's so good. So you'll take that, so fill it up like so. You can put ice in it if you want. I don't really care. As long as, you, as long as I drink it, you can mix it up as much as you want. To me, it's good. It may not taste the best to some. But to me, I like it. It's literally like coffee. Literally. And the caramel just adds a little bit of like, you see the caramel there? Obviously, I'm just going to be a big bag and drink it. Or eat it. That caramel is sweet. But honestly, when if, when you're drinking it, you don't taste a lot of the caramel. It literally stays around the cup just for some oomph. But and it's so filling, it's so filling. Like this, I, like I told you all I drank it last night and I was full. Okay, and I didn't eat until like one o'clock today when I ate my salad. Like before we had this, which is 230 calories. Let's think about the coffee. The coffee is 15 calories for 12 ounces. So we're gonna probably just add like. Five calories because it's nowhere near 12 ounces so we're probably at five so we're at 235 calories with this and then the salad that i had so the southwest salad was 390 calories with all the toppings and then i added some dressing so it was probably like around 500 calories so we'll just do 510 510 calories so at 745 calories for the day plus the fries how much calories is in a chick-fil-a small fry the woman was too stunned to speak 35 grams of carbs. Okay, what about the, how many carbs is in that salad? 27? 27 grams of carbs in the salad. So we're at 1,045 calories, and then once I eat the Chipotle, baby, I'm good for the day. This is what you call a caloric deficit. Are you crazy? This is a caloric deficit. I really aim to eat 1,500, but I can, if I want to, I can eat 1,800 calories a day and be more so in a deficit. But honestly, sometimes I do eat the 18. Sometimes I may even slip up and go over 18. But for the most part, for 80% of the time, probably even 90, I would say, I'm under 1,800 calories. 
every single time and I fast and I work out so if y'all are seeing the weight drop <laughs> that's why tomorrow's gonna be leg day I'm so excited because I feel like when I gained weight a lot of my cellulite came back and you know obviously it's a lot of like cellulite is just fat deposits so obviously when you're gaining a lot of weight you're putting on a lot of fat that's where the cellulite is gonna happen so I'm just really excited to like tone up my booty we're gonna do some deadlifts we're gonna do some squats we're gonna do some hip thrusts some kickbacks we're gonna do an ab workout and I'll be my workout for tomorrow so I may not even do my hair tonight because I'm gonna work out tomorrow I'll probably just do it before I go out with Mel and then have that done for church as well so anyway y'all um, that's it for now I'm about to go take a shower let's get this Bible study going and let's get some content made for Tiki Talk. I'm gonna speak to y'all later. We will we'll catch up. Let's let's just go relax. I need to go take a shower, maybe even a bubble bath. I need to do something. Right. It's only the two of us Everything I need between those thighs Every time I look into your eyes I see it You're all I need Every time I get a bit inside I feel it Hey 
y'all so i done took a shower as y'all can see i got myself together i feel so good y'all have been like lazy to take a shower like i was really dragging my feet to take a shower only because my shower routine is just so long i gotta do oral hygiene i gotta do skincare i gotta do body care then i gotta come out and i gotta do more skincare more body care perfume get dressed waist trainer i was just like oh but now that i did it i just feel so good i got my little chipotle here i heated up my bowl from yesterday y'all asked for my order so i never finished a chipotle bowl so i started like getting my lettuce and my corn on the side that way the next day when i heat it up like i can just like put it on top so i get brown rice double chicken a little bit of hot a little bit of medium three scoop two to three scoops of corn probably like two now i used to do three but yeah yesterday i did two two scoops of corn cheese lettuce side of sour cream side of guac and vinaigrette let me tell y'all something baby i know i said like i was on that cava wave but chipotle is an og i do love cava though don't get me wrong Mm-hmm. And you get your chip. You dip it in that guac. You dip it in that bowl. That's a combo right there. Mm-hmm. So good, y'all. I got my kombucha here. A lot of y'all been asking me, do I still drink kombucha? I do. This is the peach paradise flavor. Like I said, when I drink it now, it's not the whole thing anymore. It's literally this much. Like almost, yeah, I could probably drink one in three days. Cause I truly did not realize how much sugar it had. That's a lot of sugar. And now that I'm like really intentional with what I'm putting in my body, if I'm going to have a caloric deficit, I want all of that to go to food. Or things that, you know, like I don't want it to go to waste like with just sugar. Like, you know what I'm saying? No. So now I'm just more intentional. I'll drink half. Or if I really, really want something more of like that bubbly thing, I'll do a poppy. But most of the time I just drink water, y'all. Like <laughs> my friends at work was literally like, I went to the store. I was going to get you something to drink, but I never seen you drink juice or soda. And it's like, yeah, it's very, very, like literally y'all in this fridge, if it wasn't for Wizard Kelly, there would be no juice in here. He love a little twister. Very punch, fruit punch, those are my juices. But for me personally, the only thing I have in here that I drink is water, protein shakes, kombuchas, poppies, and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water. But yeah, anyway, I'm about to just go relax. I had to make some TikTok content, make sure I got that out the way. I'm about to go read my Bible. I'm reading Proverbs right now. So good, so much wisdom. Um, yeah, I'm about to just eat. I'm about to eat, read, and we gotta be up very early in the morning. We have a very early day. I have so much to do. I need to go to the supermarket bright and early. I need to go work out, clean the new place, get my Wi-Fi installed, meet up with Mel for lunch, come back home, make my green juice, cut up my fruits, get everything ready for work. I'm gonna see y'all. Hey y'all so it's the next day it is it's five o'clock right now almost six uh, it is so gloomy outside it is pouring rain when i tell y'all pouring like it's pouring it was so bad that like i didn't even go to the gym this one all i'm ever done to run baby everything got rescheduled to tomorrow sorry not sorry like uh-uh let's get into the lip combo though i feel like when you're not wearing makeup just putting on a little lip combo just elevates you know what I'm saying? Make it look like you got a little foundation or something on. I put on this, um, it's actually a 99 cent, um, or like a dollar lip liner, y'all. It's so good from the one and only. I got it from the beauty supply store. I don't know if, why is that? Okay, there you go. It's in the color darkest brown, and I put on that with some hot chocolate and some clear gloss from, the hot chocolate was from Fenty Fire. But anyway, it's so gloomy outside. I didn't want to do anything all day. I almost even canceled on Melody. I'm like, girl, I don't want to go. Like, cause I really just didn't want to go. I really just wanted to stay home, reinstall my wig. Cause if y'all see how this wig looks under, y'all would literally jump scare, you know? 
So I really didn't want to go, but then I'm like, Melody, y'all, she is not the friend you could flop on. Once you say y'all are going somewhere, you have to go. Like, no matter what. Or if even if you have to cancel, you got to run through hoops to cancel on Mel. Because she's like, no, but can we, but can we, but can we, can we, can we? So I just say, you know what? Let me just get dressed and go. And yeah. Honestly, if it was anybody else, baby, I was not going. One thing about me and the rain, I like to be inside. I like to be home anyway, but like I truly like to be inside, especially when it's raining. But I'm like, let me not just let me not flop on her. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna go see her. Probably tonight I'm gonna reinstall my wig when I get back home. That way tomorrow I could wake up, go to the supermarket, go to church. So yeah, right now I'm just waiting because I'm waiting for Melody to be ready as usual. I was gonna take an Uber, but the way the rain is set up, I feel like the Uber prices are absolutely insane right now. And it's like, and back, it'll be literally $120. That's crazy. I can't believe I used to take Ubers before, but it's 520 right now. We gotta be there for six. She's about to be leaving her house. So I'm about to leave, head out. I'm gonna see y'all later. Well, I'll see y'all when we get to the restaurant. Fuck with the birds, I mean, kitty, don't get stabbed with the ratchets. Always be mad. 
mad that I don't fuck insults Girls hate too, guns rip your tail I love you, I want a bitch, oh boy don't trip I'll split a big bill Take you around the world, they don't have to understand Rub it in their face, put a rock on her hand Baby, can you call me back? I miss you It's so lonely in my mansion Kissing a hell the cutest What are they like and not? And you know I'm back, and you know I'm back because it's back, and, and and you know that I'm a child of God. Don't play with me before I get the mob, and the mob I'm talking about Jesus Christ, and you know I ain't playing because you know I'm right. <laughs> Babes, OMG. Well, I don't know why I feel this burning sensation in my chest. It's the last day of the vlog. It's actually seven o'clock right now. I had such an eventful morning, y'all. It was just so much going on, but um, I did go to the gym. I did like a really good leg day. I did my deadlifts. I did ab workout. I threw a little bit of back in there because one thing about me, y'all, when I'm working on a certain area, I'm not going to the gym without working it. I may not do as much focused workouts, but I got to throw one in there. And I train my abs, honestly, every single day. That's also what I did when I lost weight before. Like, I don't go, if I'm in a gym, the abs is getting worked on. The back is getting worked on. Even if it's just one workout, <coughs> it has to happen. But I had such an eventful day. Uh, I did all my meal prep, so I made my green juice. Um, I got my groceries delivered this morning because it was just a lot going on, y'all. And I didn't even tell y'all, last night, we couldn't even go to the seafood place um, that we were supposed to go to because they were packed. They were not taking any more. First of all, the, the place is called Crab House. It's an all-you-can-eat seafood place in the city. There's also a location in Brooklyn. The thing with them is if you have under four people in your reservation, you cannot make a reservation if that if it's anything less than four you have to do walk-in or whatever so we decided to go and mind you i knew i did not want to go out like it was raining it was so gloomy but like i told you melody is not the friend that you could flop on because once she knows you're going somewhere she will purposely starve herself all day and it make you feel horrible if you try to cancel so i went y'all the line it was so packed 
As soon as we walked in, there was like there's 20 people on the wait list. We're not taking no more people. We were so annoyed. So then we called Benny Hanna's and he's like, okay, let's go to Benny Hanna's. I haven't been there in a while. Well, I went with Mr. Curly like a few months ago, but I wanted to really get that roll um, that I had told you about. It was like some shrimp roll with jalapenos or whatever. I wanted to try it. So we called. They like, yeah, 20, 30 minute wait. When we get there, they said two hour wait. So then when we w we just looked across the street, it was a restaurant that Mel's friend had taken her to like to celebrate her birthday. It was called The Consulate, if I'm not mistaken. So we just went in there and got some food. But I told Mel, next time, why spirit told me to stay home, baby, I'm, I'm sorry, you just don't have to be upset. I'm sorry, because I already knew I did not want to go. It was raining, it was pouring yesterday. Like, I wanted to stay home so bad. Like, it was just, and I knew I should have stayed home because I had to do my wig and install it, which I just did. I'm laying, the baby hairs are laid right now. I wish this wig was jet black. I think I'm gonna dye it jet black. But yeah, anyway, I was just so annoyed. But I was just like, you know what, whatever, like, it is what it is. Um, we had a good time anyway, but I definitely did let her know, baby, the next time my spirit tell me to stay home, I'm not leaving my house for you. I'm sorry, love you, <laughs> love you. <laughs> but I'm staying home. But anyway, it was a good time. I woke up today. I did everything I had to do. Y'all know the day before work is always like a whole bunch of preparation for work. So I got all my stuff done. Um, what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to just go start editing this vlog. I want to do some Bible study. I have so much that I want to do. And it's almost 7 o'clock, but I want to be asleep by like 9. So I have like two hours, give or take, to, you know, read a few chapters of the Bible, write my notes. Uh, what else do I want to do? But I do want to do some work on my laptop and start editing this vlog because I know you're going to be like, girl, what's my vlog? <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to go get started on that. Hopefully in the next vlog, y'all, by the time I vlog again, we are hopefully 80% into the new place so that I can just, I just want 100% be moved in there by at least the third week of uh, March. So hopefully by the next time we vlog, y'all, that place is done, been clean, the Wi-Fi is up, my, I have some furniture in, wallpaper up, all the things. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, period.